To be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. Ralph Waldo Emerson couldn't have said it better. You've probably experienced this. A friend buys an expensive phone. It gets the attention and applause of your colleagues at the office. You decide to do the same. The moment you do the same, you start again to ask yourself, what's next? Since we do not have the same fingerprints and since we are all created with different talents, passions, interests, gifts, and even faces, why should you want to be somebody else? In today's video, I'll share with you 7 reasons why you should be yourself. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss other exciting videos like this and don't forget to hit the like button below. Share your reasons why you should always be yourself. Number 1. No reason to be somebody else. Everyone else is taken. Everyone is unique. There is something I can do so well that you can't. It doesn't make you better than me. This is what makes us all unique and special. So why would you want to be somebody else? Philip Pullman said, You cannot change what you are, only what you do. Your friend shops expensively. You don't have to do the same. You're not going in the same direction. You're not chasing the same dream. No two person woke up one morning saying, We are going to pursue the same dream. If your friend have chosen a path, it's your business to either support him if it's good, or advise him against it. Wanting to be like him so you will appear hippie will not make you become exactly like him. Instead, it will stop you from being who you are. 2. Fake will fade You've read this before. Tell the truth, shame the devil. We can stretch this to say, tell a lie about yourself, shame your creator. Why is that? Because refusing to acknowledge and accept who you are is similar to shouting in God's face that he made a mistake. But no, he didn't. So, you are not a mistake. If he made you black and he made your friend white, he didn't make any mistake with that. Hence, you may bleach your skin, it won't remove the melatonin. E. E. Cummins said, to be nobody but yourself in a world which is doing its best night and day to make you everybody else means to fight the hardest battle which any human being can fight and never stop fighting. Fake will fade. You should know that because you've occasionally bought things cheaply only to find out that they didn't last. You have spent a fortune on something better and found out it lasted longer. What's not original will eventually fade. People do not take you seriously if you are not yourself. Have you noticed that humans can smell fake from millions of miles away? So quit deceiving yourself by being untrue. Number 3. You will feel better How do you have fun when you are around your friends and family, especially those you are comfortable with? You feel happy? You feel free and joyous. You never try to please anyone. These are people you are comfortable with. That's the way it should be every time. Every time you are yourself, you'll feel comfortable in your skin. God has given you one face. Don't make yourself another, says William Shakespeare. Number 4. Others will know the real you I had a friend I always make fun of. We both laugh about it. I would assume she was comfortable with it. I loved her because she never got turned off by my jokes. But it turned out she was turned off. She pretended to like my jokes because she didn't want to hurt me. Yet, I was hurting her and I didn't know. In the words of Homer, hateful to me as the gates of hates is that man who hides one thing in his heart and speaks another. Want people to know who you are? Then let them know. Be yourself. Snap. If you have to, at least they'll know you have that terrible attitude you need to deal with. Number 5. You lose your own identity. You become who you are not made to be when you're not yourself. Remember Brian Finch in the movie Limitless? He was a 28-year-old who used a drug to enhance his brain performance. While he would achieve a measure of success during the day, he was always a shadow of himself at night. He could only leave the identity of a super intelligent geek for 12 hours. Soon as the drug's effect wore off, he returns to being the ordinary Brian Finch very few people wanted to be with. Every minute you spend being yourself, 
doing things the way the real you will do it. You will become better and more improved because we naturally thrive in the area of our calling. Number 6. Being yourself enhances your creativity. If you want to achieve more successes in life, do more of what you are wired to do. If you enjoy writing, don't try to be an artist. You will only struggle and become frustrated when you try to be anything besides who you are. The more you use the skills, talents, gifts, passions, interests, etc. peculiar to you, the more you become creative at them. A gifted musician may never fare well as a doctor, just as Stevie Wonder can never separate Siamese twins as Ben Carson can. We all have the responsibility to focus on who we were made to be. It not only strengthens us to be successful, but it also helps others become impacted and makes the world a better place. Think of the world without the sun or the moon pretending to be a star. Imagine Ben Carson hadn't become a world-class neurosurgeon. Your creativity is enhanced only when you are where you are made to be. Number 7. You will create boundaries. People will often take you for granted because you are not yourself. People will abuse your privacy since you've not created boundaries. Others will impose their opinions on you. The more you make them real, you know, the more people understand what you stand for and don't. Being yourself creates a wall around you. It defines what people bring your way and what they don't. And if you're looking to be successful, that's an excellent way to live. If you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there, including following other people's path. Jada DeWalt said, Don't let others box you into their ideas of what they think you should be. A confined identity is a miserable way to exist. Be you and live free. Trust that in living true to yourself, you will attract people that support and love you just as you are. Be yourself because everyone else is taken. Thank you for watching this video. Like and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss other exciting videos like this. We love you.